The Minecraft base is such a staple thing inside of your Minecraft world. You want something truly awesome to show up to your friends, your server mates, or maybe just sit in a boat and look at it peacefully from the water. Just something that you yourself can be extremely proud of. But the big question is, how do we make something really awesome? Today, I want to start talking about that. Hey folks, my name is Flip, and I want to talk about how to plan an awesome Minecraft base. First, we've got to figure out what we want to put inside of our base, and then we're going to figure out what the heck this thing is going to look like. So, for me personally, I, I usually like to make a list of the different things that I like to build inside of my Minecraft base. First and foremost, we probably need a bedroom so that we can sleep inside of it somewhere and skip the scary nights and not run into any phantoms. Outside of that, a storage room to be able to put things around is really great. As I've learned recently, trying to live out of a kitchen being your storage room with only five barrels, not the best way to go. On top of that, you want to have some sort of a smelting area, usually more than one furnace being your kitchen stove of sorts is a very important thing to have so we want to dedicate an area to that after that we also want to have a farming area whether that's going to include some redstone farms or just your wheat fields your carrot fields your potato fields and everything else you might need to have a lovely place for some bees to hang out then in order to progress further into our minecraft world we need to have an enchanting area and then redstone farms you can go pretty much anywhere with those things from pumpkin and melon farms to sugar cane and bamboo farms all those different things there's so many things we can put inside of our base we got to figure out what the heck we actually want or we need to be able to build a big enough base to store everything and then on top of that what about villagers villagers are pretty op in minecraft now so they're kind of important to have in your super mega base that we're making today now that we know what we need to have inside of our base, we gotta talk about how we're gonna be building this base. We could be building up an entire village for ourselves if we want to, that's one of my favorite ways to go at least. Or what if we, for example, lived out of a boat? We can always get really interesting, it's Minecraft, you can do whatever the heck you want. So if you wanna have your whole base in a single boat, you could do that for sure, or a whole fleet of boats. And then probably one of the more staple ones is what if we build up a castle? Castles are great because you have so many rooms inside of them to hide everything you could possibly need. Or maybe the, you wanna go with a little bit of a warmer environment here and we can dive into the desert and build up something of like a desert pyramid or monument of sorts. And lastly, with Minecraft 1.17 coming around the corner, this is gonna be something that's probably pretty up there for a lot of people is what if we dive down into the caves and build everything in this whole network of caverns underground, which seems really, really fun to me and something I wanna do in the future. But for right now, I like to create structures and I wanna be building something above ground or at least most of it above ground. I want to take on the mega base approach today because it's something I don't commonly do, but I really wanna get into mega bases. I feel like they're so fun. I'm always building different structures and everything like that. And I feel like tackling the traditional mega base could be a great way to go. Now planning these things, wow, that is a whole extra thing. I don't even know how to get into that, but we're gonna try today. And the way we're gonna be doing that is we have four different colors of concrete here. We can use these to line out different areas inside of our Minecraft world and make it look really super sweet and color coded. And then we can actually know where everything is going. I'd recommend picking four different distinct colors that don't blend into each other that well. So if you know you're uh, kind of colorblind like me over here, you can actually tell them apart when you're looking at it from far away. Very important, but friends, let's get into the time lapse. I thought for this build, it would be kind of fun to take on a wings approach of having one large central area for our storage room and our bedroom, then creating rooms that will connect to the central one that would house all of our farms and whatever else we might need inside of this grand mega base. The idea is, is everything we might visit or need to use on our quote daily basis we want to keep in the center of the base so we can quickly jump in, grab it, do some enchanting, quickly get some of that out of our chest, and then just leave the base and go back to our adventuring or whatever the heck else we were doing in the meantime of, we want to have it very accessible to ourselves early on. I thought it'd be really cool to go with a circular central area for ourselves so we can very easily see everything. We can have a bunch of layers to it very, very simply and easily just kind of taking it upwards and we can have a giant dome and bring it into a tower and all that cool stuff later on. So I'm bringing in that smaller central area where a tower might stick out of the dome in the future. And then we got those two blue concrete wings off to the side that I was talking about. If we could fill those with our redstone farms, those could be some animal pens, villager trading areas, or whatever the heck else you might want. And I decided like, you know what? Why don't we extend this out the back even further? It's always good to over prepare with how much space you have because eventually your chest room is going to fill it. 
fill up and you might need to expand that out again to somewhere else so that's a good way to do it then i figured also off to the sides we can have a few small farms for ourselves mainly for the crops that we're not going to be using all that much unless we set up an automated farm for them. So I thought we could bring in a few carrot and potato fields back here. And also I figured the back of the base would be pretty boring if we just had a straight line there. So it's like, you know what, why not? Let's bring in a few towers to break that one up. Using our white little concrete blocks there to form a pathway, I figured on this side we could have our carrot farm forming this around the pathway itself so we can have a quick way to get in and out. Having just nice and pathways around the base are always useful to have. Then over on the other side, we're going to be throwing in a lot of those pumpkins I was talking about, or sorry, potatoes. I don't know why I got those mixed up, but having different type of stuff is a good way to go. Who knows? We might use this for a little village or something as we're doing our villager trading and everything, and it would be quite nice. This whole platform up here, I would probably raise it up for where our base is going to be, be taking it five, six blocks high into the sky so we could have a staircase coming into the front. And it really adds to that grand feel of it. But that to me seems like more than enough space we could possibly need for most starter Minecraft farm size things and anything bigger. I usually would create a whole dedicated structure to that. Then out the front, because I always think this is a fantastic way to walk up to a Minecraft base or anything really it's just a giant wheat field just giant farmland all over the place is just so beautiful so using a little bit of world edit to add it in there and then for me i i feel like you know this is my minecraft world i'm the one who owns this minecraft world i'm the ruler of this minecraft world so we're going to be bringing a few village houses out here in front of us because maybe we're working with those villagers as we we're talking about and we don't want to hear the humming and hawing and every sound that they make because they're very low Noisy, loud, and annoying. Tried combining all those three words into one, but I figured it'd be time that we could give them their own little village section out here where we could have them all live there. We could walk down the road whenever we need to go do some trading or whatever like that. It is fully possible pretty much at this point in time to never have to leave your actual base structure. You can do everything you ever want to get all the resources you could ever need pretty much up until fully enchanted diamond gear without ever doing anything else. So I thought it would be kind of fun to have a reason to leave the base. As amazing as this thing is that we're creating up here, it's also nice to be like, okay, well, maybe we're going to walk on down the road and we can go visit our little villagers and see how they're doing down there. And then, you know, we can leave them behind in their squalor and come back up to our grand mega base that we're going to be building up here. I think it'd be a really fun way to go. Let me know what things you would add inside of your own mega base. And if you've enjoyed the video so far, be sure to click that like button down below. But let me know what questions you have about base building and everything like that. I think it's really fun to be able to make these things. And today's video, obviously, is just about the plan so far. And we can see all of the crops coming in here together. And you could see the awesome idea that you could get across with this crazy base once we would be able to build it all the way up and just have this fantastical amazing peninsula over here of our minecraft base over here in the village you can see the outline of our base looming off there into the distance behind us and i absolutely love this thing and i got a challenge for y'all folks i know a lot of people come in here be like wow flip you didn't even build the base yep that's right we can talk about concepts and help you still learn things without showing the whole build itself but if y'all want to see this whole build here together I'm going to set a goal of 10,000 likes on this episode. If we hit that one, then I will build the entire base back there and everything around here and make it look all super sweet and everything. I've been kind of wanting to do a bit of a creative build here, so if you all make that happen, I would be happy to do it. That being said, as we're walking through the base, I figured one important thing we could do in here is after we have the outline in here, as we're doing that, I felt like I was kind of starting to come in here and be like, okay, we have our bedroom here in the center. Something surrounding this area, probably along all of these walls, is going to be our chest room, so we can start their throwing some signs down the storage room as mentioned is going to be that central area and i feel like underneath the bedroom could be a great spot for an enchanting table of sorts so i'm just going to put the big v there to symbolize that's going to be underground and then over here we could maybe have this being our smelting side so we can make it look more industrial and that could be super cool we're gonna to have to make some way to power the furnaces so we might need to figure that one out here later then we got kind of our farming sections around us so maybe we do like the small redstone farms over here in the back, we've kind of designated most of the big important things out there being the storage, the enchanting, the smelting area. We've got all the small redstone farms over that point. There's a donkey over there. Those are pretty rare in this game. And then back in here, I was thinking originally villagers, but then I was like, no, I don't want to listen to them here. So I put them down to their own village all the way down there. So this could kind of be everything else that you want. Maybe some more redstone farms, maybe some extended storage. This is what I guess you could call your bonus room inside of your house. You can do what Whatever the heck you want in it you don't need it you don't have to include it but you can pretty much build all the different things in here the this is the overflow room so if we ever run into either of these sides being filled up 
completely and we don't know what to do with them or even in here in the center oops don't break that one we can start moving all that stuff out into here I do hope this video was helpful for y'all and uh, gave you a few ideas of how I plan out my Minecraft bases. Let me know in the comments below what some things are that you typically do when you're trying to plan out your bases and maybe something that I missed here will build in this thing because this would be a really cool build. I got kind of excited about this one as I was making it here. But anyways, folks, that's all I got time for on today's episode. I do hope you did enjoy this one. Click that like button down below if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are brand new. And my friends, I will catch you on the website side.